I was asked why Arminianism is important and why it's important to study Arminianism. Uh, in many places throughout the world, um, in North America, also in South America, um, in evangelical churches, there has been a resurgence of Calvinism. And uh, Calvinism, Reformed theology of various forms, has been coming into many churches where it has not been before. And so it's raising questions uh, in churches that people may not have asked before, questions about predestination, questions about what it means to be the elect or the reprobate, questions about the perseverance of the saints, whether it is possible to lose one's salvation or not. All of these can seem like theoretical, theological questions, and they are to some extent, but these questions can also have very practical outcomes and practical uh, uses. So it's important for Christians, to, especially church leaders, to be informed about these sorts of questions. Do we have free will? Who is God? Does God really want us to be saved? Does God love me and want me to be saved? What does it mean to be predestined? Is everything determined? These are questions that people have, and so it's really good to be informed about these issues. Uh, we're fortunate that uh, there are many good resources now available uh, in uh, evangelical churches and also now in Portuguese. Editora Reflexão has done a very good job of making available many of these resources. So some of the books uh, that I've mentioned uh, on other videos, uh, Jacob Arminius, Theologian of Grace, is certainly a good resource, but there are so many good books now and it's important that we study and add, as Peter says uh, in Second Peter, add to our faith knowledge. Uh, it, because we have a faith that uh, expresses belief in certain things, it's important that we know what those things are. It's important that we be able to speak intelligently about our faith and to defend our faith and give a reason for the hope that is in us. And so it is good to take advantage of the great resources that are now available.